Well, I got sent down the road by the company I was looking for, so I'm off early on a Friday. And uh, I'm selling my old two-stroke Detroit and some of the pieces for it. And I need to get them ready to load it. I'm gonna, not going to have very much time tomorrow, so I think I'm going to bring them out and set them down over here. And um, I really don't want to take these poles down because the, the engine weighs about 2,000 pounds. So I figure this is a good way to see if, if these long poles are up to a tax of 2,000 pounds. And if I have to, I'll, I'll just lean them up a little straighter. Um, they are quite a bit of angle still. And then uh, when I did this flagpole oh, quite a long ago, I wanted to change the uh, rope on it and I dropped the rope and it just went boop, gone. So um, I might take that thing off, just let it fall, um, change the shiv up there. Because anytime you, you work on this thing, you just want to change that shiv every time. So you don't have to, you know, have someone come out and do it. And uh, so I think I'm going to do it myself this time. And and uh, I think with these long poles, I can change that flagpole and get it get it flying again. And then I'll have to get some some good flag about you know Trump or something. So uh, let me back it up. It's uh, around the corner and over there, and we'll get going here. I got something kind of rigged up here. Um, I can't remember. This, I think this is a tow strap, and I just kind of looped it around. And we'll see. Kind of cool about this remote being right here. See how this works. I don't know if I have enough battery power to lift it. My uh... Ooh, it's kind of dropping down a little bit. And then now it's uh, all crooked on me. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. But it's all off the ground. Nice. Well, I think I'll have to t take the fence off. Well, it's one solid board. I could cut, might be go up and over. I don't know if I have enough battery to do it. Uh, battery's fine, but the connection is not. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get more angle for it. Cause this transition is about a thousand pounds. This is about 2000 pounds, so. This is probably about the same as, as lifting one of those cabs. So yeah, I'm gonna get a good, nice little pile of water there or something, I don't know. Yeah, the battery's struggling. Well, I'll get her up, I'm gonna go on the other side so I can watch the winch and everything like that. See you in, well, I'll just take you with me, why not? It's also the first time this truck's been started since before the blizzard happened in January. And it was growed in where it was at. I gotta get some good quality shivs. These are China. This is why these it's why this thing just struggles lifting anything up, because these I think it's because these shivs. Oh, and the battery. The battery I got with them is ain't very great either. Alrighty, I'm gonna go over there and set her down and maybe pull the oil out of it. Oh, come on. Lay over. Come on. There we go. Come on. There we go, she'll labor now. I'll see if I can get this thing lifted up kind of half ass straight. That way I can um, drain the oil out of it. And I don't want oil getting to making a mess on their trailer or on the ground. All right, let's see if I can do this without making a complete mess. So I'm trying to keep the fluid nice and clean, even though it's contaminated with because this transmission is burned up. That way, uh, the guy who buys this, he can just 
reuse the fluid. Um, he's just going to be using the transmission to start it, and I'd hate for him to have to buy a bucket of 1540 to get it going. So, what I'll try to do is uh, try to hold the camera, hold the bolt, I mean, hold the funnel. Oh man, I can't frame it. The bolt's probably going in the bucket. Also, want to see if there's any water in here. So I'm, I'm. This is going to be a mess. I'll, I'll just be lucky if I don't get it on the phone. Bolt's probably almost guaranteed going into the funnel. Might be up. Oh, there it is. Yep, there's some water in there. Other than that, it's like just your. Running your meal contaminated 1540. Um, does not look pretty, does it? It's not too bad. There's a little ATF in there because the and just a over the road application, which these are this is an off 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 road transmission. Um, your over the road would. Um, just ATF and when I got it it just had ATF and I put 1540 in it because it didn't have much on the clutches left and I got it too hot and that pretty much just did them in so well I didn't get too much out of them but uh I just I'm just gonna tell them to fill it up with used motor oil so, um I think I have a kind of a junk filter I'll give them that way you can just run these hoses around I think this is the cool. This is the retarder, and uh, I think this is the cooler line. On the other side's the filter line. She about done. I set her down, and she's she let out a, quite a bit of water, and then uh, some milky oil. Um, probably that uh, tape I put on here. I gave out and was letting a little bit of water in, which it would comes out it can come out this way but also it can come out that way because there's a scavenge pump down here um, it is a wet PTO housing so when the, the engine the engine ran PTO sits right here and uh, when the PTO is out it just sprays oil down around this stuff and uh, the scavenge pump picks it up and puts it back in the pan for it so alrighty when I clean my hands off, one hook and we'll pick up uh, old Detroit. Alright. So it's a little off this way. And it also needs to go forward. So I figured it's might be interesting to see when it comes up. I hope it picks that up straight too. So I stood them up pretty freaking straight for this. Um, I even put these piece of shit wrap uh, ratchets down, and they were tight. They were really tight. You couldn't do this with. I should should have showed you before. Oh well. And uh, I marked where the hooks were before, so I, I moved them up quite a bit. And uh, yeah, it's, these shivs, they don't. It don't work that well, and I'll show you the, I'll show you the battery, how how great that is. So the battery rotted out a long time ago, and and I put this on there, and also don't drive with that on there; it gets a little toasty. So, um, and then it just has this little eight gauge or six gauge wire to feed it from the front. So what I'll do, and that battery's toast, anyways. So hopefully I can, I'll just start up the truck and that'll give me some extra juice to uh, pick it up. Because this truck has picked up this before. 
so it should it should pick it up again. If not, I might have to actually connect it. Yeah, nothing. So yeah, I'll have to I'll have to do something. I'm, I really don't feel like fixing it as is because the wires. It's a junk wire. I mean, there's nothing there. So, I wonder if I should go pick up this wire and just replace this wire from Harbor Freight. Hmm. Then I could put a proper stud back on here with the circuit breakers. Yeah, we'll see. Alrighty, so I, uh, this thing had been broken a long time ago and I just took a punch through it and uh, tried and failed to clear it out so I could stick up the new line. I cut about oh, this much line off because I, uh, I was hoping that this would be a good line and it, it, it is. So if this will work, I'll just leave it. If not, I'm going to uh, go get a thimble, a new thimble and uh, I'll just punch it and whatever but uh we'll do we'll do it from over here because this line gets hot like this thing was all the way hot up to here to my hand so and uh i'll have to grab a line and we'll see if we can get this thing up some more yeah i've seen this thing kind of catch fire before so okay let's go up that got a lot much better connection and it's not hot so let's see if we can get this thing up and over the fence it's heavy and she's spinning I might have to let it cool down here nope not bad we got a good connection this might actually I might leave it like this for a while I might also to get a hose clamp and clamp that Get a little better connection, I guess. Because it's the reason why I don't really fix it right is because I want to put this back. I got a toolbox over there for putting that hole, and I want to put that battery in there. And I'm going to put new wires over there, and they'll be shorter. And I just don't feel like doing anything until I actually fix the thing right. So it's pretty much a mechanic's curse to do that. But, but yeah. thing is loud at the winch I'll tell you what I mean but it's every bit of 2,000 pounds so I hope I don't drop it All right, that ought to get me over the fence, and I'll I'll bring it back down. That way, if I drop it, uh, she's got a little temperature to it, but not bad. So we'll get her over the fence, and we will drop it down and pull it over there and pull the oil out. Man, getting around that little hump right there was not great. The motor almost came all the way up and hit it, and uh, the front came off the ground and everything. And uh, this thing is just <laughs> and I hope you I hope this is coming out, but this is this thing is just going around. Well, tomorrow is the day and despite moderate amount of traffic on this road, no one came by and stole these. I mean they're worth money after all. Well, let's go get the other one out.
this time it's going to go through the hook like that because it slides better. Well, that was uneventful um, this time I put a little gas on her to get up over that hump um, when I did that one I uh, I didn't I just idle and low and the old two valve didn't have enough juice to get her over so but yeah got her loaded I'll uh, come up and uh, try to drain see if there's any oil in it and uh, we'll get her loaded on the trailer as soon as he gets here so this engine has been setting for a long time with it open, which is just a really bad idea. And that's probably why this engine just parts only. The blower is probably bad. And uh, so let's see how much water we get out of this thing. Oh, it wasn't bad. It was only an inch. So maybe a quarter gallon. So I didn't bother saving this oil because I figured it was probably crap oil anyways I saved the oil on those because I knew they were good oil I just bought this engine for the injectors and uh because my engine ran away and uh so yeah not too bad too bad man it is cold out I mean it's I'm not wearing anything just jeans a hoodie and a long sleeve shirt but it just had a slight rain this morning or something so it's moist in there and it's just really, really making it where that cold just comes and hits you, especially with this wind in Kansas. 
just I'll just leave that thing like that. And when he guy gets here, we'll load her up. All right, two days from now is today, and it's super nice out. Uh, I already found a job again and worked just a half day today, and I didn't video loading those trucks up. I'm I'm, not, I'm just not comfortable videoing people, just random people. So. Um, but uh, I do want to fix this flagpole. I uh, was changing the string and I let it go. And usually uh, my neighbor comes in with a bucket truck right here and fixes it for me. He's been pretty busy trimming trees. So um, I think with these long poles, I can do it pretty easy. So, and then I noticed that hole's massive. So I think what's happening is this is full of water. So I'll probably have to drill a hole or something in it down there we'll see what happens but uh yeah i'm gonna get again see if i can get this unscrewed a little bit and uh i might have to put a pipe wrench on it i don't really want to uh i just use a strap wrench for an oil filter um the one that you take a strap and loop it around and pull on it but i don't have one of those anymore so i wonder if i can rig something up with them with a bar or i don't know we'll see so i couldn't get anything with a strap to work it just wouldn't bite hard enough um I've had some luck with uh, like water filters and stuff to do that. And this is just a decoration <laughs> pipe wrench. And oh boy, it's good on there, good. So um, I don't want to break this one. <laughs> and uh, the jaws are, are not very good in it, anyways. So I'm going to go grab me a pipe wrench from the rig and a cheater pipe. And we'll get this thing done. I'll get your heart rate up. That's a five foot cheater. I got it a quarter turn. She's flipping tight. I wonder if I get it with one hand. <sighs> yep it's gonna be fun I'll get her all the way out though and uh, I'm expecting I'll get it about halfway out and it'll start leaking so or bring it back and see what happens yeah I suspected it's it's leaking water so I gave up turning down there see how it ruined my powder coating and turning here and yeah it's gonna make a thing with the paint but yeah hey, look at all these pits this is actually from when it was in the oil well. And uh, that was probably just a thin piece of tubing and it probably, um, I think it was a hole right there, yeah. And the rainwater probably just filled this up eventually. So, pretty crazy. I bet you it's full all the way up to there. Great. I don't know. It should. There's plenty of threads to get it out, but I can't turn it. Yeah, let me set you up. See what happens. Okay, with luck, it'll fall down and won't hit the camera or the truck over there. See if I can even get it.
Whew. Wore me out. Okay, so. I'm gonna replace this. It's still in good shape, but it's all the way at the top of the pole. And wow, look at it, it's wearing into there. I have not seen this ball, this top, since I put the flagpole in. My neighbors changed this a couple times for me. And uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, I've had a line get in between here before. And that's why I get a swivel joint. But yeah, look at that. Yeah, she's full of water, so I'm gonna, I'll probably end up drilling a hole down here or something. And this shred's got shiny because it's pulling it over, but I'll get her back in. So my plan is to pick her up somewhere on the halfway point, maybe up here, and then get over the wind. The truck takes most of the weight, and then so I can hold it straight and screw it at the same time, and I'll be able to reinstall it. So. But yeah, I'm gonna go get a uh, go get me shiv here, and uh, I might have one, but I'll go look, and we'll get this thing and a rope, and I'll get that installed, and then we can go the other way with this thing. Glad to beat this thing off there. Um, it unscrewed with a 12-inch crescent, but uh, yeah, it it was uh, about time to change this anyways she was about to give her up so china i'm sure this thing's china too and it's nice how this is all dug in there but paint's holding up on this thing so i'm just gonna go back the other way just like it is uh, she's not that great at shape but uh i mean this is probably functionally a thousand dollar flagpole or so um didn't cost me that much but that's because it's just it's custom and i just i just had to pay for someone to uh spray it and it actually was a gift the welding and spraying was a gift but uh it, it was my joint so all righty well let's go to the store Well, I got her stabbed. I think what I'll do is I'll just keep loosening off the line and let it wrap up as I tighten it. I think the poles and that little bar pick sticking out really far will keep it from falling over. So we'll keep going here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, I got her screwed on. Um, I was really concerned about getting it straight, straight not cross threading it. And then I didn't think about how to get that down. So I do have a ladder that's high enough to get it down. And I'll go get that after I take care. My daughter wants to do some four wheeling. So I'll be right back. Well, that makes it all for this video, and I'm glad uh, this thing didn't come out when I was picking up those little Detroits, because, uh, yeah, that popping like that would not be fun. So, well, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Well, it's the next, it's a couple days later here, and I couldn't find my crescent. Some bitch left it on the ground out here. I'm glad you're a Harbor Freight crescent, because I have not been treating you nice at all.